Welcome to Shivering Timbers Dojo. Today we're going to get to the Donzunu Jiu Jitsu's Okonokata deep dive into a couple of moves, the Mizukuguri and Koguruma. Uh, on the boards, Mizukuguri is move 5, 6, and then you don't learn Koguruma until move 17. It's further down the boards. However, Koguruma is the counter to Mizukuguri. Um, we're also going to talk about why we use Mizukuguri. It's one of those funny moves that people look at and they go, oh my goodness, why would you ever do that? That's so silly. But, you know, why not just do the straightforward thing? And this is why. It's because the straightforward thing has some counters and this is to counter the counters to the straightforward thing. We'll show that. And Koguruma, um, Koguruma is the counter to this. You've also seen it in pro wrestling. It's pretty cool. Um, to do it, you know, for reals actually is a useful move if somebody gets down there. We'll talk about that, how we use them. So today, Mizu Kuguri, Koguruma. This is Mizu Kuguri, the underwater diving. Now, let's talk a little bit about this. When people see this move, uh, I'll show it to you and then we'll talk a little bit more about it, but they see it and they go, oh my God, why would you ever do that? We're gonna cover why we even do this move. It's difficult. This is actually uh, one of the harder moves to do. It's, it's hard on your uke. It's difficult on you, especially if you're taller versus smaller. I've got some back issues right now. It's hard for me to make myself small, but I'm gonna do my best to get her over. So, let's do it. Okay, you need somebody who can fall well to do it. So let's break down what I'm doing. First of all, they're coming in for like the double slap to the ear. Uh, for those of you who are like, why would anybody ever do that? Because it hurts. They could just as easily be trying to grab you to come in like that. Okay? We practice from the double slap because that is the basic. There's more to it from there, but you know, say she's trying to grab my head to go for the knees. The block is the same whether she's coming here or coming here to grab, doesn't matter. But that double ear slap does happen. It does hurt. We want to avoid it, so that's what we're blocking. Music Kuguri works best when their motion is towards you. So that is one of the reasons it's difficult because you really need to catch your uke while they're moving because their movement is what throws their kazushi off to allow the throw. So they Hit, wow. we block, we come down to here. As we come down, we make sure to kick our foot forward. As we come in here, the idea is you want to be small and little and get your head under here. It is difficult for me, being a big guy, getting under a small little kick, and hit the ankles, Woo! Three. and up and around. Very slowly, that's what we've done. Now let's talk about all of you right now in video lane screaming, why not just do the double leg? Good question, why not just do the double leg? Hit me. All right, I could just as easily come down here and, whoa, and go for the double leg. And that's the counter to the double leg. The counter is well known. You sprawl and get to the guillotine, get to Hadakshime each. Sprawl and get in that choke. So if we know that they naturally want to kick their legs back, to get away from that double hook. You know, you're trying to get the ankles that way. If she comes back, and I come in here, and she kicks back, <laughs> oh, then me pushing from the front, all of a sudden makes sense. And she goes, and you're helping them. So in reality, when we practice this, especially when we're new, and our guys go down here, and Yuki's just sitting here, uh, and it's hard to do. The reason we do this is because we know the counter, right? I'm going to do a double leg and counter it after the strike. So strike, haha! -ha. I get out here for the double leg, they try to counter it. So instead, get in close before they do this and come up over <laughs> and do that. Now that was a very ugly mizukuguri, but all of a sudden you understand the idea. Their legs are probably coming back. If their legs are coming back, then it behooves you, instead of trying to catch them, don't. Say, okay, 
bye bye, and come over the top. So Mizukaguri, the underwater diving, the reason we do it is because of the counter you all know to the move that you're all telling me I should do. <laughs> I get told so often, uh, do a double leg. Double legs are great. Double legs are fantastic. But there are counters that people are, you know, do that are well known and work well against uh, the, the double leg. I've done it in competition over and over again. People go for that double leg. I have choked people out. So, since you know it's coming and you know what's happening, one more good solid music degree. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> hey! Hey! Just like that, music a good the underwater dive. This is Koop Guruma, the minor wheel. You have seen this move in pro wrestling. And why am I teaching it in jiu-jitsu? It's pro wrestling. Well, honestly, Donsonu Jiu-Jitsu has a lot of roots in pro wrestling. When, when Donsonu Jiu-Jitsu was being codified, and when pro wrestling became what we know as the show that pro wrestling is, um, there was a lot of crossover. That said, doesn't mean the move doesn't work. Uh, it just means that we can adjust it to harm or keep our opponents safe as we need to. All right. So it is the counter to Mizukuguri. We just talked about Mizukuguri, the underwater dive. Why we do it? You know, they go for the double arm slap. We go down. And instead of going for the double leg, we hit those legs so that if they try to skip back to get away, we're already hitting them and they go over. Now there's a counter to that, because there's a counter to everything. So now I am going to go and hit my opponent, and she's going to go for that music goodie. Now I've got a couple options. First option, come up here, grab the OB. Up, bounce. You notice I hold her shoulders on my knees. That's where the weight is at. And then off to the side. Other the side. Same thing. So when she comes in, I grab this up, come up, hold the weight right here, and then off to the side. Now, Kogaruma requires that you can hold your opponent's weight up. Um, grabbing the obi is easier with somebody who's your weight or a little less. Um, the way I'm going to show in a minute is with somebody who's a little heavier. There's a different method. Now. You will notice, I sat here nicely, threw my opponent to the side. I'm being careful with my, okay, I'm protecting her. If I don't want to protect her, I sit. Boom! Right down. We've all seen that in uh, pro wrestling. And of course, their opponent knows what's coming. Use their hands to take a lot of the fall. They also uh, make sure the head doesn't go below their uh, fifth point of contact there so that butt hits the mat, makes the big noise, and the person doesn't take a giant blow to the head. In jiu-jitsu, we're not so worried about that. You know, we come up and just, bam. But we're not going to worry about that today because, again, I'm going to protect my, okay. Now, there's another way we can do this. She comes up. More like, put a from here, and I can spin. <laughs> We see a lot of spinning in Oku. You're like, why the spin? That's so unnecessary. Well, because we know that our uke is good at falling, but how good is our uke at falling after having gone through a washing machine once or twice? The spinning throws people off. It, it throws off their weight. Where am I? What am I doing? And perhaps, perhaps there's something there that you don't want to throw your opponent on because you don't wish to really harm them. Or perhaps there's a curb over there and you want them in the street. I'm not judging. All I'm saying is, you can spin one more time. Come at me. And spin. And away we go. Kogaruma doesn't have to be nice. <laughs> that is fairly nice. Me just whoop. My okay has time to disengage, to slap, to take care of themselves. If I don't wish to, one more time. And just drop. Boom! Straight from there. But in so doing, I can hurt somebody, and I wish to be very careful. I want my training partners to come back and keep working with me and training. So, Kogaruma is the counter to the Mizukuguri. The Mizukuguri <laughs> is the counter to when they counter our double leg. It's counters all the way down. 
Koguruma, the minor wheel. So that was Danzenu Jiu Jitsu's Okunokata, the Mizukaguri, and Koguruma. They are far apart in the board, but they are mirrors of one another. Both of these, it helps if your opponent is not super larger than you, especially with Koguruma. Mizukaguri, you can do this if you are a smaller person versus a larger person, especially if the larger person is trying to kick back to avoid the double leg grab. If they're going, if, they, if you make like you're going for the double leg grab and they start kicking the hands, they're kicking their feet back, you bring your hands forward, it's going to be a lot easier for you as a smaller, uh, the smaller person doing it to larger. Koguruma is difficult to do if they are much larger than you. That doesn't mean there's not things you can't do. They're down here. Pick them up and just throw them to the side. You know, get as much up as you can and just toss them to the side. Either way, you are not kicking your feet back and giving them the easy access to the music community that they want. Practice these things. Practice this against a little resistance. Be careful. Koguruma is tough. You know, there's a reason you see it in uh, professional wrestling. Like I said, it's big. It's flashy. It's dangerous. You know, um, you got to have good break falls. Practice your ukemi before you do this stuff. But practice with a little resistance. Practice with some speed. Uh, especially music Guri, absolutely practice that with a little resistance because the minute they go down to try to get that choke, you hit those feet and come up. And you're gonna be amazed at how much easier music goody comes than when you when you when you first start. Your partner's gonna stand there like I do, and you're gonna hit him. It's like hitting tree trunks. It's hard. Remember to get your head down and up between those legs to help help them move. And if they're kicking back, why your job's halfway done for you. If it's not like it, well, come on into class, work with us, see what you can do. Other than that, stay safe. Thanks.